later? Put me back in arena mode. It's anti-pepper mode. God, I hate this squad right now. <laughs> um, didn't build around it equals not good. Listen, motherfucker. Sniping me with the green text arrows. If you don't get a level two cassowary, you can't build around a cassowary because it scales up to a maximum of one strawberry friend per turn. You can buy all the strawberries you want to buy in your entire life. They're not going to scale the cassowary. So how the hell am I supposed to build around a cassowary if we're not getting uh, cassowaries in the shop? And if there's no damn chocolate, you got to wait till tier like six, some blobfish show up. You get them to faint with the mantis. Then all of a sudden you got two cassowaries. Oh, great. Now I'm scaling at uh, two, two per turn on round 10. Go back to arithmetic class. Meanwhile, our panda is making any unit that we want a 50-50. And you're like, cassowary's the dream. Cassowary. Yeah, okay. Is almost as good as a hummingbird. Now, this squad is ass. I'll take a cockroach and roll past. I'm not going to buff a cockroach. We've made this mistake in the past. Freeze me. Buy me. Take a buff. You could... Okay, I deserve that. I forgot. You don't have that much gold. Let's be... How about a slippery bush? All right. Believers, we're going to lose round one. <clears throat> it's all right. We'll just get a snail instead. Just get a snail here. I forgore. It's true. Now, buff. Future buff. We don't need another strawberry. This is actually... This might have pulled us out of our misery a little bit. Because this iguana is now going to be... A 4-7? A 5-7. Math. Ha <laughs> ha! Thursday. What a concept. Um, look at that. We're back. Now, level me up. I love that. Okay, now you're kind of ass. Although I'm like, what if you rolled a ko what if you rolled a koala now? Huh? Huh? I don't. A dove is at least a two four. So here, well, here's the deal. I think you could definitely do that. Give me a chance, okay? Just give me a chance to make this pop. I think you set it up like this right here. But then our best unit's at the back. You could set it up like that. That Maybe that's a little bit more applicable for what we're looking for here. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a try. <clears throat> At least our cockroach taking damage is meaningless because the cockroach is ass to begin with. What the hell? <laughs> Hold on, we win this easily? It just looked bad? Sell me? Buy me? Buy me. Roll me. I love the way the squad looks right now, to be honest with you. I'll try it. Sure. I think we're going to say no to that. We can combine. We can, okay, this iguana's kind of going off. <clears throat> it's at least doing something. They got a double stork here. That kind of scares me. It's going to summon a bunch of units. That seems strong. That's very unfortunate for me. 
Super Strawberry Team. Okay, I've, I've learned my lesson from the cassowary, I think. Why don't you add me? Buy me. Sell me? Dude, this is ass. The cassowary is going to become... It's better than the koala immediately. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to buy a cassowary. And then I'm going to try to worm my way out of this you know, nightmare that we've created for ourselves. Because I don't want you to take too much damage if possible. I'll keep the woodpecker. Okay, I see that you do two damage to yourself. Does make you know what? Okay, but what? How would? Uh, so now I'm like the yak. Okay, so the you're gonna do two damage to yourself. You're gonna get. You're gonna be a two three. Then you're gonna do two damage, and you're gonna become a four five. Okay, okay. Sorry, cassowary. We're gonna try. Okay, I'm not saying it's like a dream, but I'm saying we're gonna try at the very least. I think you need like a cucumber or something. It wouldn't be the worst thing for you to take the buff. I don't want that second yak yet. Man, you're absolutely right. Imagine if a blowfish showed up. Oh, man. Oh, man. If a blowfish showed up, we'd be laughing all the way to the bank right now. Okay, now you're a 4-5. Now you're a 5-6 because of some snipers. I am manifesting right now. So the koala takes a permanent boost, right? As a result of the yak, but an impermanent boost for the ones that are in battle. So that's how that's going to work for us. Okay, now I understand. So why don't we double the scaling of... Let's get rid of the woodpecker for now and double the scaling speed on our koala. We should have purchased the kiwi first. That's, that's a grievous mistake. I'm not willing to dump a hummingbird. <laughs> this is I'm not willing to dump anything on the squad. That's the that's the interesting thing that we got going on here. Okay, I'm gonna sell an iguana. Knowing that maybe I would want to do that at some point anyway. Then we can combine. And the best part of this, now that I think about it, when we combine you, I bet you're going to get your trigger back. You can question mark me all you want. We're learning right now. You're going to take 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You're going to be a 5-6 permanently. I respect it. Roll me. If anything, I, plus two health. Nah, man. Give me strawberry. I mean, if we're if we're sticking with our hummingbird, then sure. Go ahead and take this for now. When our yaks combine, they'll get their HP back. Okay. This is slow, but give it a second. Just give it some time here. I've never seen a harder throw. Softball player spotted. Okay, I mean, this round we're just going to get dumped on. That's a little double panda. I'm not sure what else we could do about that. Maybe not sell our 910. Now, let's bring it back. Give it 2 1. Is that worthy? Are you worthy, clownfish? I don't know if you're worthy. It's a 3 gold 2 1. Maybe it's not that bad. Level me. Oh, buy me. Level me. Buy and sell. Give a random friend 2-2. Two, two. Okay, hold on. Buy. Sell. Hold on. Are yaks kind of doing something? On faint, give friend behind one experience. Enemy pushed or hurt. Gain 50% bonus health. All of these are bad. All of these are bad. 
all of these are bad. <laughs> I don't really want to steal the Yaks HP. With God as my witness, a fortune cookie. I gotta keep this dude alive, though. That's gonna be an issue. Fifteen twenty-five. Hold on, we got this. We got this one. We still got even with no crit. We got it. Leech buffs koala. Ah, very sensible. Leaf buffs koala. Okay, now you got to stay alive. That's an issue for us. Why don't you take some broccoli for the time being? Roll me. Two other strawberry pets get buffed. In a pinch, I would take it. Not really interested in a two gold apple, but maybe the world has changed. You know what? I do love a mantis. I don't think destroy counts as hurt. But I think we could roll this. It, and it's not even a friend behind, now that I think about it. But it doesn't count anyway. Okay. <clears throat> it counts as a faint, not a hurt. Okay, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> Please don't be lethal. Please don't be lethal. It's not lethal. We're still cruising. Okay. You're not good enough anymore. On knockout summit. No, 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 no. You need some more HP, okay? Or a good faint trigger. I don't know. Anteater's fine in a pinch. I was hoping maybe we could do better. But then what's going to get killed? What do we want to get killed here if, we, if you play that play? If you run a yak, what do you want to get killed? You got to think about it for, for two seconds. You got to think about it for more than two seconds, okay? Think what you got to do. You got to put an anteater out there. And then you just feed your yak a little bit. Anybody up feeding their yak? Now, if the koala was ever to pop off... Now would be, like, the best time. <laughs> oh, no. Their mantis is a little bit better than ours. Please. Thank you. Thank you! No, it still kills us. No, thank you. Lethal. No, we're dead. Okay. Pay out the doubters. Dude, any... This is where I'm at right now. Any animal that needs to level up in order to uh, be good is ass now. Because you can't realistically get a second level. It never happens. The only thing you get a second level on is like tier one units. With all due respect, people are like evaluating these animals versus the animals in pack one and pack two. You're, you're making an error, I think, when you do that, okay? I'll take you for the time being. I feel like right now... Will be a hard bamboo. Pack three is a little weaker than the previous two packs. Now that might change over time. You never know. But when people are like giving me the stats, like, well, in in round uh, ten on pack one, you would never accept like three gold for a two stat increase. That's damn true. But like in in this, like two twos are doing work. A 1-4 is playable. Like, the power curve is just... It's, it's at a different place right now. I need a strawberry, okay? But here's the thing. I think I'm going to get one. Give this a minute to, to have a chance. Casino on 30 seconds. Why? Welcome to the stream. It's so people can learn the error of their ways and their deeds. Earlier, we had it on five minutes. People said five minutes forehead. I took it down to 30 seconds. 
Roll me once. Give me a strawberry, please. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to focus on buffing a panda for a minute here. Place me. Sell me. We need something. To, you know what? Keep buffing the panda. I'm a believer that because this is a tier one unit, we're going to get it to level two, and then we can just put its stats into a unit that has a better, it has better text on the screen. I'm not totally sure about this one. <laughs> like a, it all going into a 2-3 seahorse, I'm not totally sold on, but in the long term, I got, I got decent optics, I think. The panda does die before the buff. You're absolutely right. That's an issue. That's a problem. Maybe that... I think that means... You could look at that with a small brain and say you got to make the hummingbirds have more attack than the panda. That's never going to happen. I look at it with a, with a huge brain and I say, you got to get rid of the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds are not doing anything for you. We got to take this. Like, <laughs> it's a hard squad to pivot when the only thing you see on the on the shop is a hummingbird and an iguana. Let's resist the siren song. Definitely that. I'm going to sell rather than combine because the combine doesn't do anything for us. And then the pug can make the panda be... Le no, because the panda's ability is going to go first. But at least you're a 3-3. Three, three. Like, it's still not the... This damn panda's too strong, man. We need the panda to be weaker. What the hell is this? Oh my god, the order is wor working perfectly. That's hilarious. They set it up perfectly and, I mean, still got crushed, but... So you're not relevant to the situation at hand. That team, that was from somebody who was, they were engaging in a learning exercise. We do have some storks. You know what I like about the storks right now? There's two of them. I just, I feel like the leech is kind of anus. That being said, I guess we could have put out yeah, whatever. A leech that steals from a panda. Sell me. Give me two damn storks. <laughs> Scary. Um... You know what? Here we go. Now we got a, a, a good pivot. Not great, but perhaps good enough. A cassowary that gets 1-1 one, one every turn, and the buff actually gets to go, and then you have more HP than a seahorse. Okay, we got... There's something here. We're getting something out of it. What are you summoning? A jellyfish. Let's go. No. What are you summoning? Whoa, what the hell? That's so cruel. You got brought into this world just to die? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You're getting a lot of HP. At least, just let me get a level 2 stork, please. Like... We gotta give it a shot. Let's try to get ourselves stabilized, if possible. Koala? 
You can rewind the the video like um what the hell panda at the front. <laughs> you can rewind the VOD a little bit. You will find why I will not be taking koala. Panda at the front? We have a strawberry pet buffer. I still like this. You're getting more HP. But what would we buff with a strawberry? I don't know. We'd have to think about it. I don't really want to buff a stork. But maybe. For the time being, maybe. I would like to level up my units. Um, <clears throat> If possible. You know what? Just take that. For, that's way better. Even though the cassowary at level 2 presumably won't benefit from itself, it's never going to get to level 2 anyway. So, like, why would you concern yourself with this? Okay. I noticed that you have received a level 2 unit. I was wondering if you might be interested in telling me what that feels like to have a level 2 unit. I wouldn't know. We win these. On faint, give experience. Not really that relevant right now. You are at 2-6, though. Would make you one of our strongest units. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get a vulture, then. Okay. I mean, to be honest, I would rather have some degree of scaling. And then... You could at least come out here. Because we're going to get at least one trigger off of you. Nobody really... Oh, you know what? I guess you could... T I know we keep shuffling this, but that's okay. Orca for Vulture? The Orca is a tier 6, man. Six gold for four stats. Roll me. Get, get, if we can't find animals that we want, then you gotta start rolling to get the animals you want. You gotta put more power into rolling. Now, we didn't find it, but that's okay. <clears throat> sell leech? I can't sell anything. This squad is, is ass, but it's not getting shellacked, which makes me think that maybe all squads are ass. Hold on, we're getting shellacked? Please, you had to shoot the unit at the front for us to maintain respectability. Okay, we need two wins. We have to try to level the cassowary. Why don't we take six health? Holy cow, a level two panda. I didn't know that such a thing was possible. A level two unit in this game. An astegosaurus that buffs with turn number. Okay, definitely you're going to need one of those. I think we probably still lose on this turn. Panda into Koala. They got their own cassowary. They got their own woodpecker. What the heck? Okay. So, oh, we made it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Come on. You piece of crap. Work with me. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. There's no question. You need a damn pepper. Even even though you, you're you the unit that the game lives and dies with. You're going to need a pepper. We we'll probably say goodbye to a tier 1 penguin right now that only buffs a panda. Now, a stegosaurus. I think we want to buff the leech. So it's giving 10-10 to the unit in front. Penguin, you know what I mean. Pelican, stegosaurus. I don't even remember what I was saying. So you're going to give 10-10 to the unit in front. You know what? You should also take a pepper. Why not? Freeze value foods. And turn. Something? Something? 
the pepper. The pepper of dreams. Well, well, well. You're at tier six, that means we cannot run a lion. We can add some stats. We can add some panda. We could add popcorn to our stegosaurus if we have no other options. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Let's give it a try. Also gives one more trigger for the, for the vulture if the vulture's still alive at that stage of the game. Please, hold on, the pepper, the pepper remains incredible. My pepper! The pepper remains incredible. It's not gonna be enough. It's not, the vulture, 10, you spit out a 10 too for me? All right, I feel like that was a good learning lesson though. At the very least, we're learning the value of some of these equipments. Start my prediction, will we get six wins or more? Run me back. This is actually a good first shop. This might be my current optimal first shop. Hello. Hello. Yo. <laughs> well, you know what? They tell you not to smile for your passport photo, so I... <laughs> she cried a little. But it's like mommy taking photo versus... A strange dude taking photo. I think they did a pretty good job. Yeah? Yeah, it's not so bad. She looks like herself, for sure. Uh, you, you see your, your daughter like this? Well, when she's upset, yeah. <laughs> she put on, like, a, she put on the best face she could. She's... Oh, man. They did dirty. It is funny. Oh... Bye-bye. I don't know why I said it like a baby. <laughs> Be a fatherly swimmer. It is funny that you need a passport for a baby, but the other funny thing is that um, you can use the passport for 10 years. Like, you, you choose a 5 or a 10-year renewal when you pay for it. Um, so technically, until she's 10, she could still be using a passport where she's like 18 months old in the photo. So obviously, you're gonna need a strawberry. Hummingbird can't strawberry the panda. We learned this last time. Why don't we take one of these? The shop respector has logged on. Now we don't need another strawberry though. Hold on, I think I'm pogging. I am pogging with a draw. I'll take that. They buffed level one Octo. I did see some people complaining about uh, an octopus change. I have not seen it, but that has never stopped me from giving my take on something. The octopus needed to be stronger. The change sucks ass? Oh no. Yes. 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 This is gonna pop, man. The octopus got nerfed? I feel like I've died like, I've lost to an octopus in late rounds, like, less than 5% of my Super Auto Pets games. The flip side of that is that I lose to an ox every time it shows up. Unless I have more oxes or a better ox. Feed me? Feed me. 
Enemy pushed or hurt, make it weak. This is fantastic news. Welcome to the squad. Now, we'd love to see a level two panda. Oh, I thought I thought you were a level two panda. I got so excited. I thought you were a level two panda. With three gold remaining, look, this isn't ideal to me, but I believe that the panda can exist on a late game squad to accelerate the growth of a tier five or tier six unit with a superior affect. Excuse me. We win these. Level me. Give me some scaling. Level me. Level me. Okay, the good news is all these animals are ass, so we don't have to think about it. Roll me. We're going to get a level here. We're, we're going to get something. I still like, I respect the hummingbird as it stands. We don't really need two toads to make enemies double weak. It doesn't make any damn sense. I'm not going to buy crap foods anymore. I think it's a bad habit. So I'm going to, I'm going to drop it like it's a bad habit. Now, we don't want to get rid of the iguana. I would get rid of a hummingbird. A 2-2 two -two hummingbird that gives a temporary 2-2 two -two buff to get a permanent 1-2 buff and then add another unit to the squad. Absolutely. And then there's a part of me that says, you buy a clownfish right now. Next turn, you level up your toad. Your toad gets stronger as a result. Yeah, I don't... Look... I'm not being a hater or whatever. All I'm saying is that I kind of feel like... Get owned. Um, I don't feel like the guinea pig works as it's supposed to work. Like, I feel like the, re the only reason you would ever buy it is so that you could easily get it to move up a level. Like, when you buy one, it gives you two. Instead, you have to have two space. You buy one. Its stats are terrible. You could then sell one... So you paid two gold for a 1-1 one -one that doesn't do anything. Like, I just, I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing it. That's what I mean. It's different animals. You can't, you can't level it up. Okay, a level two toad has been buffed slightly. We love this. You need to get more buffs, though. You're kind of not doing anything right now. I don't respect an eel here. You know... Sell me? Buy me a starfish. I think we can get an iguana back. I'm not worried about that right now. Let's sell our level one iguana. Buy a kiwi. Sell a kiwi. Buffs our seahorse. Also buffs our starfish. Works four times per turn. Buy a seahorse. Now we're looking for units that have sell abilities. If we could get something that gives... What about a... You get a freaking platypus. And all of a sudden you got a platypus. Let's go. That gives you two... That has a sell trigger and gives you two sell triggers. It has a sell trigger. It gives you two sell triggers. Sell, 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 sell. You piece. It's all right. We can at least combine. We know we're not going to intend to roll uh, two seahorses for very long. I mean, you could take a hamster, but like, uh, I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. You're not sellability, so I don't respect you. Roll me. Do any animals have sellability? Hamster is two free rolls. That's, uh, that's pretty true. I didn't realize it cost zero in the shop when you bought it. That must be my mistake. A sellable. A sellable. Okay, I hate to do it. The panda has to go now. It hasn't been buffed too much. There's no sacred cows here. You buy a platypus, you got two empty spaces. You sell your platypus, there's a trigger. You sell your duck, there's a trigger. You sell your beaver, there's a trigger. Is it another toad? <laughs> um, I definitely do want a toad, but just give it a second. Buy, give me more platypuses, man. Platypuses and kiwis. 
Platypus kiwi. Platypus kiwi. I don't really want another toad. You have a cell trigger, so at least I can like I can keep you up there for a, a moment, I suppose. I'm not sold on this round being that great for us, but I'm thinking that starfish has some potential in the future. That's a strong salamander, man. It's even stronger. Let's go, weakness! We're insane? Okay. Now we're talking. I forgot about the weakness. Ooh. Sell me. Honestly, feed you. You're getting strong. Add the toad. Go ahead, add the toad. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold on. Take one of these. Well, we're not going to be rolling a, a dream squad to begin with. How about we just level up and roll a three squad? You know what? I actually feel like the husky could work on this team. We don't have a lot of food meta. Why not? This round, I'm not feeling fantastic about. But we do have a level three. How about that? Three squad, we got this. I appreciate the um, the optimism. Now, we are up against our own toad. What the hell just happened? Or another toad, I should say. We're dead as hell. You could start building an iguana here, though. Guild... The guinea pig plus a starfish could be good. This, sadly, the guinea piglets, I don't think they have a cell ability, so it wouldn't trigger the starfish. Certainly, I think you have to try something like this. I also think you need a pepper, but we got we to gotta put a full squad out here. <laughs> I think I like that you're going to give us a small buff at least. We got to rebuild the damn squad here. Freeze a pepper, roll once. No cell trigger. We could, whatever we get, though, we could have it get a buff for a turn if we wanted. Do we care? I don't think so. I think you just get ready for a level three seahorse. Two level threes. Isn't there a unit where you get gold based on the number of level threes you have too? All right. I mean, this is the most obvious loss you're ever going to see in your life, I think. We weren't off by that much, actually. That koala was pretty good, I got to admit. Now we're on lethal, but just, just chill. Just chill. We're going to combine and combine. End turn. Multiply buff by the lowest tier in the shop. To one pet behind. So in theory, we could probably give a 4-4. That doesn't appeal to me as much as I need it to. That's, I'm just guessing that we would have a minimum tier 4 in our shop. A cell trigger, please. I know they exist. Okay, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Yoink. That's damn good right there. Um, it doesn't really matter if you hit level two. Yeah, I think you gotta. I think you gotta take a fox. I'm not really thrilled with it, but I think you got. I don't really care what he eats, honestly. They're both they're both acceptable. Sure, thank you for eating the broccoli. I'm alive. Get owned. Get weakened. Get owns. I am the one who is owned now. <laughs> All right. I still think the starfish can work. I think maybe you gotta get hamsters for that roll trigger that I so needlessly derided earlier. Okay, run it back. We can throw a quick little slash marker. Call it SAP2. 